So I get a call from Charlie Engel, and Charlie Engel says to me, um, uh, Tom Selleck wants to sit down with you and I. And I said, uh, yeah, Tom, I know Tom, because Tom had done two pilots with Steve Cannell, uh, one with Jimmy Whitmore called Gypsy Warriors, and one called Boston and Kilbride with Jimmy Whitmore. And neither one of them went, got picked up. In fact, Tom did, I think, five pilots or six pilots, and uh, none of them got, got picked up with him. In fact, one of them got picked up, but they didn't pick him up. That was early on. So <clears throat> I sat down at uh, La Serre with Tom and with uh, uh, Charlie, and Tom said, I'll pound roofing nails before I shoot this shit. He didn't say shit. Tom doesn't swear. He doesn't swear. He doesn't swear. He said, before I'll shoot this. And I said, so what do you want? He said, I remember a script you wrote for Gypsy Warriors, because I did. Steve Cannell asked me one Friday, CBS wants to see a sample script. They'd already seen the pilot. They want a sample script. Can you get me a script by Monday? So I stayed there all weekend and turned a script in on Monday. Then Steve came back uh, to me on Thursday and said, can you get me another script by Monday? And I said, no, Steve, I need a week at least to get another script out. Anyway, Tom had written, read, Tom had read the, those scripts that I wrote, which evidently didn't impress CBS because they never picked that show up, but <laughs> Tom had read them and he liked my writing. And he told Charlie, I I'd like him on this project. So I said, okay. And we t I talked with Tom. And he said, I really like your writing. And I said, well, tell me something about you, Tom. Tell me something about you. He said, I, I just don't want to play what I look like. You know, everybody wants to always play me as the handsome leading guy. He said, I really want to do something with some humor. I said, okay. So I had a show that I was developing. Remember, I was in development. One of the three shows I was developing was a the thing called H.H. Flynn. And H.H. Flynn was about <clears throat> a fellow, about three Vietnam vets. Rick, who had a club down in Long Beach, called the Americana Club, where he thought he was Humphrey Bogart. TC, who flew helicopters out to the oil rigs off the California coast. And H.H. Flynn, who was a, a, a private investigator, who lived in the guest house in Bel Air of the uh, Flowers to the Stars guy, the guy that was the biggest seller of flowers that arrangements to the stars. And what he would do is he would drive his Ferrari, that guy's Ferrari around as a front. Then he'd drive home at night through the gates. He'd change into a pair of, uh, you know, top siders, <coughs> Levi's, a relaxed shirt, and jump in a Jeep and go down to the club where he hung out with Rick and TC. So I thought, I'll take that and I'll create a series from it. So I went in to Glenn and I said, tell you what, Glenn, Tom doesn't want to do it with you. I'll write it. I'll take it over. It'll be my show. We'll split the creative credit. I walked out. Glenn never saw another thing until the show was done. I showed it to him. Uh, now, I had never been to Hawaii, and I wrote it from a Fodor's uh, travel book, which was a 1955 <laughs> Fodor's travel book. I still have it. It had kind of a pinkish cover on it. And I'll never forget, when I first went to Hawaii to scout, for the shoot, 
I was stunned because the Hawaii I wrote about didn't have tall buildings downtown and all this stuff. You know, I wrote about Hawaii 1955. Uh, and that's what started it. I, I did Magnum. It became a huge hit. Made me instantly, instantly. Now, what could you tell me? Uh, first of all, did you have to change a lot once you realized that Hawaii uh, wasn't quite what you thought it was once you were there? How much rewriting did you have to do on that? I didn't really have to do a lot of rebranding because what I did was this. I said, you know what? <clears throat> Rather than rewrite this to make it for Hawaii today, we're going to make it for Hawaii the way it was. When we shoot this, I don't want to see a condo. I don't want to see a telephone pole. I don't want to see a four-lane road. I want to see palm trees. I want to see beaches, empty beaches. I want to see narrow roads through sugarcane fields. And that's what I did and created this image. I said, give me Hawaii. I said, think of it this way. Give me Hawaii. Uh, before the war, before you know World War II, give me that Hawaii, and that's what we created. And uh, it, sometimes directors going over there didn't believe me. I, I remember I'd get I was looking at dailies one day, and I called, and I said, "You have Tom walking on the beach with condos behind." I said, yes, beautiful beach, beautiful shot and everything. I said, well, you're going to reshoot it without the condos. I don't want to see condos. Now, if we're in downtown Honolulu, yes, you can show downtown Honolulu. But otherwise, I want this kind of beautiful, almost Tahiti look to the show. Anyway, that's how Magnum got created.